Nick, let's have a little chat about you. I think I'll take, I'll take the mic off you. Let's have a little chat about you before we, uh, before we let it go. Um, you are now in a great position in the featherweight division. How do you reflect on your win over Isaac Dogbear a couple of weeks ago? Good. Uh, a win's a win, isn't it? Win by any means necessary. And that I feel like the way I got it done was, was comfortable. Everyone was saying, oh, could be, could be a bit a step too far for Nick Ball, things like that. And I heard people saying I could get stopped. And you know, I thought it's a bit, bit mad that life, but everyone's got their own opinion, haven't they? But I feel like it's just comfortable for me, done it, done it with ease, yeah, to be honest. Your, your engine, it's like you were just in the 12th round, you were the same as what you were in the first round as well. How'd you do it? Where does this come from? It comes from the way, the way I, like, I carry myself, the way all year round, to be honest, the way, the way I train and the way I put the work in, you, you, in, this, in this game. You only uh, you get out what you put in every single time, so I make sure to put it in all year round. Yeah. Did Isaac Dogbe say anything to you after the fight? He said he said some words to me in the ring. I, I can't remember what it was, but af- after it, he, he said like respect, something like that. But he, he definitely said something in the ring, but I didn't know what, what he said. S- something a little bit like yeah, like he coming gra- up, grabbed me others and said something, but. We I mean, really listen to be honest. Oh, we'll, have to, we'll have to find the <laughs> yeah, footage. To find to, out. What did he say to Nick Ball? <laughs> um, so, what do you want to do next? Obviously, you're in that great position with the WBC. There's, there's like a couple of champions. There's an interim champion and a full world champion there. Are you sticking on that path, or are you looking at other featherweights, the likes of you know, Lee Wood, people like that? And where do you place yourself right now? At the top, obviously. Uh, again, if, you know, as many times you ask me that question, I'm going to say the, the same answer. At the top, at the front, and. Whoever's in my way, get get them uh, get them in there with me and get them out of there. That's it. And whoever's got the belts, I'll I'll face them. Who do you think will be in your way next? I'm not too sure, you know, because um, Ray Vargas is the champion, isn't he? But I'm not too sure what he's doing. And the interim champion is Figaro. Mm. And I'm not sure what what he's doing. Whether he's fighting him or whether Ray Vargas is vacating and then he gets the belt and then I'll fight him. I'm not too sure. I just make sure I'm ready and and wait for the phone call. Ray Vargas in particular is one of those fighters who's going to tower over you at a weigh-in um, and you're going to be punching up. How, how do you see that fight actually playing out? I wouldn't know until I got in there, but it's nothing that I'm not used to. Uh, towering over me at, at weigh-ins and towering over me in the ring, but well, and, until they're in the ring with me and, and seeing what it's like, but I'm used to it. It's been like that my whole life, hasn't it? Uh, so it's not new to me. What about Brad Strand, your, your stable mate, your yeah. gym mate tomorrow night? Big night for him, chance for him to get his first gold. Yeah, big, big night for him. And in this boxing, there's, as you know, there's levels in it. And Brad's the, the level where I am. And I'm made up for him that he's, he's got his chance today to show, to show that. Do you get me? Fighting for the European title. And he's going to do it in style Friday night. Do you, do you see it being one of those stylish kind of... Because he, he's a very stylish boxer. Do you think yeah. it's going to be one of those sorts of performances? I don't want to say too much, um, and you know I don't really know until until it happens. No one does. That's the thing with this boxing. You don't know until you get in there. But I just just one thing: just don't underestimate his power.